Hey guys, it's Natasha here and I'm checking out one of the staples in Wollongong's food scene, Eat Street Markets at Wollongong Central and if you could smell the delicious what I am, you'd be here too. I'm here with Kira Lee, the creator of Eat Street Markets. And Kira Lee, how did your baby get born? Amazing idea. Yeah, well, I was running the Forages Market in Bulai and I noticed a lot of people coming for lunch and to hang out and listen to the music. So I thought, hang on, there's a dinner market in this. So I kind of went to council, proposed my idea and, and it started. How many vans did you start off with first? Uh, we started with about 20 and now uh, we're 35. Should we check one of them out? This looks pretty good. Yeah, these I'm guys here. are amazing. Let's do this. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good. So what do we have here? All right, so we're, today we're selling Dutch stroke waffles, which are authentic to Holland, our background. And we're also doing ice cream sandwiches. What goes into making one of these waffles? Uh, the waffles are pressed out fresh from a dough ball, and we cut it in half. Uh, then we have Dutch caramel with cinnamon and other Dutch spices oh in there. God. And we slap that in the middle and your waffle's done. So there's, is there something that I should be saying uh, before I eat it? You can say lekker, which means like nice. Lekker. Lekker, lekker. I have just been handed over these box of gold from Hector from Ola Lola. Yep. Did I say that right? Yes. Excellent. Right. Tell us a little bit about what you cook. It smells delicious. All right, um, we're doing Latin American food. Yes. We're coming all the way from Sydney uh, every Thursday night to Wollongong to do this uh, market, this beautiful market. The paella has uh, chorizo, chicken, and prawns. I'm going to try it. I can't help myself. So good. So good. And on top, we add some um, chipotle meatballs. So it's a combination of Latin America and Spanish food. And how long have you been part of 8th Street, and uh, why do you love coming? Um, in Two years, three years now. We are one of the uh, first ones to come and work with the, with the people from Forages Market and East Street. For us, um, a small business like this is very good to see faces coming back every Thursday to, to eat our food. So you have regular customers? Oh, we, we survive with all regular customers. I've just become one. Thanks, Hector. Thank you. I'm going to go enjoy this. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. So what's the story behind your stall? Because I think uh, you weren't a little bit too happy with your fish and chips. We couldn't find uh, <laughs> local uh, fish, couldn't find sustainable fish, it was all frozen, it was all pre-made. So yeah, back to basics and um, yeah, cooked the water, battered the water and, and yeah, hopefully the day before, it's, after it's cooked. Should we test it out? You can indeed. Because even the tartare sauce is made by you too, isn't it? Yeah, with conichons instead of uh, gherkins, so. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds good. Let's go, you want to help me dig in? Yeah, yummy. Yum. You have the larger one. <laughs> the larger one? Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Just keeps getting better and better. So if you have a bit of a sweet tooth like I do and want to kind of skip out on the savoury, this is the place to go. I'm with the guys here from Dolce Bacio. Yes, correct. And you've got some pretty amazing ice cream. You make it all yourself. We make it by ourselves on our recipe. We study at the, the uni University Gelato in Italy. The there's a university for yeah, gelato? There's a university for You're gelato. <laughs> no, I'm serious, I have the certificate on board. Wow. Yeah, and you can learn how to make gelato from the raw ingredients until the final product. And we make artisan gelato with fresh ingredients, fresh daily. We use just fresh fruit for the sorbet, no chemical powders or pasties. So there's a lot of effort that goes in, it's melting, so maybe I should yes. try it. So I've got chocolate. Chocolate, uh, macaron that is made with cherries uh, and the thick chocolate sauce uh, and mango sorbet, made with real mango. I think I might try this one first, try. the macaron. Yeah. It's a good match also because uh, mango matches oh beautiful with chocolate and cherries. I feel like I'm in Rome. <laughs> That was delicious and it was only a little taste of a huge smorgasbord that's here behind me. If you haven't already, come down on a Thursday night, say good day to these folks behind me. They're passionate about their food and they're supporting our local businesses. I think I might even have a little bit more room for some dessert, so I'm going to go check out the other side. 
in the loop Wollongong is possible because of the support of our partners, including our media partner, i98FM. They just won their ninth ACRA award nice. for best community project for the i98FM Illawarra Convoy. Congrats to Marty and the team. Yeah, big effort. Are made possible by partners, Wollongong Central. Make sure you check out the new DJs. The University of Wollongong stands for purpose. Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. Destination Wollongong. Visit wollongong.com.au. Access Law Group. Resolution is our solution. Kazen Business and Financial. Lancaster Law and Mediation. Illawarra Mercury. Internet Tricks. Relativity. For all your live streaming needs. And our promotional partners who you can see here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on In The Loop Wollongong. Bye.